Well, let's explore some of the cost issues of this World Cup because with me now is Renan Peterson Wagner, a senior lecturer in sport business and marketing at Leeds Beckett University. Renan, what sort of an impact are the pandemic and even the economic downturn that we've been having across the globe on this year's World Cup? Uh, thank you, first, for having me here. So, uh, as you mentioned, and from like the interview before as well, like uh, the whole presentation, uh, the global uh, the cost of living crisis is a global phenomenon, but is very experienced in different ways. In different ways being inside a country with like different people experiencing different uh, uh, forms, but also like across the globe. So, in each uh, nation, we might have a, a different effect uh, from the cost of living crisis. So, uh, historically, what we look is that people that tend to attend uh, the FIFA Men's World Cup, they tend to be like uh, young men, uh, professionals, and singles, so like in the 30s and 40s. And arguably, we, we can say that those group of people, they might not be the most impacted by the cost of living crisis as uh, we are being experienced uh, across the globe and here in the UK and also in Costa Rica, Brazil and other countries. I mean, Qatar has been pushing for the idea that a lot of the fans are expecting they want, they're saying it's a very family friendly country. Do you think the fans attending this World Cup in Qatar are going to be any different to that that we've seen of previous World Cups? Uh, I believe it will be a very similar experience that attending Russia, Brazil and previous uh, World Cups. So it is uh, a family oriented event, as you mentioned, but it attracts in the vast majority men and young men who have like this passion for football and grew up like watching the World Cup and have like this dream of going to the World Cup for uh, one day. So you're saying that a lot of what we're expecting to see is a lot of fans that are football fanatics maybe, but flights generally across the world have become a lot more expensive and certainly coming into Qatar, they're not cheap. And neither is the cost of living, it's quite high here. So do you think fans are likely to be on a tight budget or are they looking to splash the cash? Uh, I think sport in general and football in particular is very different or at, at at least to some extent different from other businesses. And it involves a lot of passion, as we mentioned before, and then you mentioned before. So the decision-making process is not very rational to put like this. So as you showed before, like Costa Ricans, they expect to reach uh, further stages in the competition as they did in the past. So they would be willing to attend. And it's very similar to Brazilians. Like I'm Brazilian and we expect Brazil to to reach like the final or something like this. So Brazilians will attend and then England fans, the same thing and so on and so forth. So the decision-making process involves other aspects that are not only the economical rational decision-making. Okay, thank you very much, Renan, for your input. We appreciate it.